the Civil War happens to coincide with a, with a technology change in photography. Uh, Pre-Civil War, most images would have been de daguerreotypes. The photographers used what was called the wet plate process. It's called that due to the fact that the plates had to be exposed and processed while still wet. And the interesting thing is the photographers actually would have had to follow the encampments. They would have made the portraits right at the sites. And so what we have here are two studio cameras from the Civil War era. There's a Lewis wet plate camera, uh, which would be probably the most common workhorse type camera from that era. The Civil War portraits that you see for the most part would have been made with a camera like this. The interesting thing about the camera is it has a repeating back, so you can actually make multiple images on one plate. It lowers the cost of portraiture as it makes it uh, more affordable for the various soldiers to have their portraits done so they can send them back home to their families. On the back of the cameras are some gray stains, which is caused by silver nitrate. So can, this also helps identify them as wet plate cameras. All wet plate cameras will have dark stains on them if they were used. The, uh, the stereo camera has affiliations with Matthew Brady's studio. Brady uh, took it upon himself to, to document the, the whole Civil War, basically paid for it out of his pocket. This is one of the cameras that belong to the studio. The ground glass is hinged, so you actually would lower the ground glass. You can see the septum, and then the plate would go down right in here. With a stereo camera, you need to have something, it's called a septum, that actually separates the two images. Otherwise, they would overlap, so this gives you two distinct images. Uh, the stereo camera also uh, would have been used either in a studio or in the field, used to take images after the battles had been fought. I mean, due, due to the nature of the wet plate process, it's f fairly slow, not that light sensitive, it was not possible to photograph motion as, as we think of today. So these would have been, all these images would have been taken either as posed studio portraits or uh, still life scenes after the battles had already been fought.